Hey, what's up my cochinos and cochinas? I'd like to welcome you back to another fucking video. Uh, today, we're gonna be doing a mukbang, gangbang, finger bang, do your thing, play with your wang, uh, pause, um, don't talk slang when you're at church and all that bullshit. Anyways, uh, we're doing Taco Bell today. Um, I got a motherfucking Diet Pepsi on deck. And I got three crunchy tacos, all right? Check them out right quick. It's just fucking lettuce and meat, all right? You might be wondering where the fucking queso is, homie. Uh, I told him to hold the queso. And I also told him to hold my dick, but I got kicked out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get intimately involved in this. I'm getting it nice and bloody. I'm sorry I wasn't really doing it on camera. It's kind of hard from, from that angle. It's kind of hard, homie. I mean, uh, I know. All right. And before you leave the video, because you're bored as fuck, I'm going to talk about the time that I was choking to death from food, but then also I saw somebody else choking to death and I was able to help them out even though I was choking to death. So even though I was choking on food, I was able to go over there and help them because they were choking on food too. We'll get into that. I'll tell you how it all went down on me. Mmm. If you guys like gringo tacos, let me know in the comments below. See, at least for me, growing up, my mom used to make tacos like this, you know what I mean? She would make the other uh, real tacos, you know what I mean? With like a corn, tor corn tortilla, I said corn, a corn tortilla chicken, cilantro, you know, onion, whatever, radish, um, if you guys are wondering, yes, I'm a little bit off today, I'm a little bit tired, because I didn't have coffee or my energy drink, um, I'm hoping the caffeine from the Diet Pepsi is sufficient, but at this point, it doesn't feel like it is, but it's cool, you know what I mean, so, we got another fucking golden crispy taco, crispy crunchy, Alright, so, um, I was on a date with my girl, right, back in like 2011, and I decided to take her to this fancy-ass restaurant, alright, Mm. I ain't gonna realize, I mean, I never went to fancy restaurants, you know. So, it was all new to me, you know what I mean? Hungry today. It was all new to me. So I didn't know what to wear. I ended up wearing like a Ben Davis shirt, you know. Some Ben Davis pants. I figured, hey, it's button up, you know what I mean? Like, but whatever. So, uh, we go to this restaurant. And, um, we order some food. So, I ended up ordering this one dish. Had like fish and shit. But it was hella small portion, right? So I asked them, you know, 
Can you bring me some more of that bread? In fact, can you bring me an entire loaf of it? Because I'm not going to get full off the shit that you guys are serving me. And I need extra carbs, you know what I mean? To, to get full. And I'm paying like fucking 100 bucks for this shit. Hook me up, you know what I mean? So anyways, they looked at me all weird and shit because I was straightforward about it. And they uh, went to the back. Not my back, you know, pause, you know what I mean? But they went to the back um, of the restaurant, you know what I mean? Um, and got the fucking bread. I don't know why it was hard for me to articulate that. All right, got the bread, brought it out. I started grubbing, bro. I started woofing that shit down like I was starving, you know? So in case you're wondering what I just did, I got the taco, bloody. I probably can't even see it, bro. Fucking lettuce falling on shit. I wanted to get like a six pack of tacos or something, you know what I mean? I need to find a del taco. Because their tacos are a little cheaper. So anyways, I'm grubbing, right? I'm grubbing. I start hearing some old lady coughing not that far away from me, right? I didn't think nothing of it. She was putting it down too, homie. Like, she had, like, a loaf of bread too, so I don't know if she was doing the same thing. But she was wolfing it down. It was, like, some older white lady with curly hair and shit. Um, not that that mattered what kind of hair she had, but she was grubbing, right? Before I know it, I hear, like, a commotion and shit, you know what I mean? I hear, like, some people tripping out and honestly i was just focused on my food bro i was like i don't know what's happening i don't know if someone just wants in here with a strap trying to rob the place or shoot everybody up bro but i'm grubbing you know i ain't got time for that shit so i was just eating all right and then uh <clears throat> you know i kept hearing the commotion and it was kind of distracting me honestly it was kind of pissing me off like bro i'm trying to fucking eat bro what the fuck's going on so i kind of stand up you know like flex style like what the i was about to say what the fuck <laughs> As soon as I stood up, I swallowed a, like a larger piece of bread, like the wrong way. It went down like the wrong tube and I couldn't fucking breathe. I was like, Ugh. and then as I'm looking, I see that the old lady's fucking choking on food and I'm not sure if it was bread, but she was sitting down and she was just like, like that and shit, right? So I was choking and at the same time, I was like, you know, this woman's choking. So like, I think the, um... I don't know, man. The hero in me, if that's what you want to call it. You know, female would be heroin. Um, and I know you know all about heroin. So I was just like, you know, usually if you're in a life or death situation, you know, you're focused on yourself. But me, I was just like, fuck. Um, you know, what do I do? I was in a situation I wanted to save her. So what I did is I just... Something told me just to fall backwards, you know, like a trust fall. Do you know what a trust fall is? So it's pretty much, you know, like where you're kind of like, you know, you fall backwards and the people catch you. But I knew there would be nobody there to catch me. But I figured I would fall because I'm heavier. I will fall back at such an impact that my back would hit the ground and the fucking food would come right up. And that's exactly what happened. So I fall backwards. Boom! Land on the ground. <laughs> fucking bread comes out, right? And I jump up to my feet. Run over, and I punched this lady, bro. Like, and I, I, and I don't want you guys to think that like I took advantage, but I kind of felt like it was shocker enough for her to be like, like, <gasps> you know what I mean? So I punched her, 
And she did exactly that. She like gasped and was able to swallow the food and get it down. And then she gets up and punches me in the fucking face instead of thanking me. You know what I mean? But after that, you know, she, you know, we talked and she was like, I'm sorry. You just, that was uncalled for, but thank you for saving my life. It was kind of weird, bro. Like you would think that no matter what the person's methods are, um, to get, you know, them saved or, you know, to help them out that they would just be thankful. You know what I mean? Like, but it sounded like she was like a little bit bitter that I did it that way. You know, I didn't break her jaw or break any cheekbones or anything. You know what I mean? But, um, I did punch the fuck out of her. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't condone hitting women. Um, but if someone's choking to death then that's, you know, some people have different methods of doing things. So I was able to save my own life and her life that day. You know what I mean? And I'm very thankful for that because, um, like I felt really unselfish, you know what I mean? And, uh, it was a very scary situation for both of us, you know what I mean? And, uh, I'm very thankful, you know what I mean? Other than the bill, uh, that I had to, you know, pay for in the restaurant, you know, they, they weren't, they didn't care. They're, they still wanted their money. So, uh, thank you guys for listening today. You know what I mean? Like I'm, like I said, I'm kind of off. My energy's not all there. You guys probably could notice it, but at the same time, wanted to bring you guys a video because that's what I do best homie. So hope you guys have a good day. You have a good week starting. We got plenty of videos coming during the week. So be looking forward to those. Uh, make sure to um, do whatever you want to do with your life. All right. If you want to see more videos, then join the team. All right. See you guys in the next one, homie.